All right, so today you're gonna learn how to program a DMS controller. This one has uh, 512 channels and the other side says 192. What that means? This is the video you're looking for because today you're gonna learn the basics and how to program moving head to any type of lighting. It's a real cool video. I think it goes super clear to understand because really, I just this thing doesn't make sense at all. It does make sense, but it's a little crazy. You gotta read like 100 times and program what it means 192, what is channel, what that scenes, and much more. In this video, you will understand everything. So check it out and watch until the end because it has a lot of cool information. All right, so how are we doing everyone? I'm Dario from Media Box CNT, and once again, we're gonna show you the DMS controller. So make sure you subscribe to Media Box CNT by hitting right there in the side and notification bell because next time you need to program a controller or any digital equipment, electronic, and much more, this is the channel you're looking for. So make sure you just follow Media Box CNT by hitting the notification bell. And now let's go over and let's, let's program this cool controller. I'm going to show you how the DMS works. We're going to be testing this with the light and also we're going to be doing some in basic programming. So this is going to be the video for you. So you know how to program all your lighting. I want to go over a few things here. We looked at control and one side it says 512 and the other side it says 192. Why is that? I was thinking in the beginning, why it says 192? What that means? You may ask yourself what that means. All right. What do you mean scanner? So scanners are devices, light fixture. So this is scanner one, and this is scanner two. Smoke machine is scanner three, strobe light four, and RGB six or whatever, so on. Up to what? Oh, total of 12. So we can control 12 independent lighting. Why, or any device, any DMX device, up to 12. Can we utilize one or two on the same mitra? Sure, you can put 10 if you want in one device. So if you look in that for a second and this one, so we see this one is address one, and my next one is address 17. And you're thinking, well, why that real the next one is 17? Shouldn't I be two? No, I'll show you why, very important, okay? That's a rookie mistake. One, then the next one two, the next one three, and then we have a problem and all the channels are mixed. If we look in this way, so we have a total of 16 scenes, page A and page B. Scenes are what? Well, scenes are channels. So if we have this kind of one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna utilize it one to 16. And that is my light. The next one is what? It's gonna be 17, right? To 32. So my next icon is to be 33 to 48. So always a black of 16. So if you multiply 12 times a 16, you get a total of 192. So you can control up to 192 in that case with this type of controller. So we're controlling many lights. Imagine just on 12 lights, I can control independent and I can mix all in and out. I can put three on channel 12 or whatever you decide to connect. So I think we got clear up to now. It's very important that you understand that section. So now my first light is one. If you see that in the picture, I trust one. The next one needs to be, I trust one is here. 17, I'm sorry, and this one is one. Right, so again, and we repeat that way. So now that they are independent. So if I go to a scanner one here, and let's see if I can, and we're gonna look that in a second there, I'm gonna control scanner one. So if I do scanner one, and I'm gonna control one of the DMX channel, I can change whatever effect, or I can change the lighting, or I can do whatever I want. Now I'm gonna go and control scanner two, so fixture number two, same thing, I'm going to use that because number six is the one that controls the globes on these type of devices. And you see that. Now, what that means, those 16. So I can control any device as long as there are less than 16 channels. Now, the moving head, 11 channels. I will think like a regular RGB light, but you have half a dozen. Right, control every RGB light. Then the man, the mouse, another channel. It's it's job of flaking should be another channel. So maybe you have a five or six. Maybe smoke machine is uh, two channels. I will think one maybe on and off, and the other one the intensity or how much of smokes you want to throw it out through the smoke machine. So out of that, you're gonna realize only two out of the sixteen. 
I think we are super clear now if we can understand how the light works. Now, again, so that I can control here, it's been say, A216 and the channels here. If we're looking right over here, we change pages up and down. Now here is your, uh, where you're gonna program, the banks. So how many banks do things have? So it has a total of 23 banks. So 23 banks in each bank, I can only save eight scenes, not 16, eight, eight scenes I can save in one bank. So you have totally eight times 20, 23. So in each, in each bank, I can control the lights here. Now we're looking right over here, I can switch banks. I pre-program banks, so if I go here and have any, any, these lights will go and change through whatever bank, I, I didn't set up any bank yet, but it will go over. And if you see here, price right, goes one, two, whatever it is, you're right. And it's gonna go all the way, so 23. So you see that? 23, but on one, all right? So it will be then two, one, and so on. We got program to it to delete music. This thing has a microphone on side, so it will go with the beep of the music. And if you feel like it's not going to the beep, you tap it here and eventually come automatically synchronized. Then we have a total of six chase. So it chases out programs that you can add. So you can add scenes into a chase. So how many chases I can set up? 240 for each chase. So one, one program will be, okay, light this up. Second one is becomes red. Next one becomes blue. And you can draw on and do all that into up to 240 times. Then when you hit chase, and then you hit auto, then now the light's gonna do all the 200 different moves or the side to you the colors or can be, you know, changing design, moving up and down the stop, left and right. And you can do that up to six times. So you got 240, 240 times the six times for each independent. Now this, one chase can control many lights, can control total of 12 independent heads, or 100, they are all, all about the same address. So you can do all that, mix it up. I think that we got super clear up to now. Now let's understand now we can also do blackout and the light goes back over there. So that goes to the on position or the position pointed up to the front. That's the front and that's the back. So to program, pretty simple. You're gonna have program. You hold it there, program, it's blinking right there. So now I need to add a programming or what, something like that. I control the two lights. I'm gonna leave it, that will be one. So I'm gonna go and press MIDI add one. All right. So now that I'm gonna go and just move that into the side or, or up, just bring that one up a little bit. And then, right, I'm gonna hit Add two blinks right there. Then I'm gonna go and let's bring this one up. Just a simple, or just change, just change the, the figure there. Let's put it that way. And I'm gonna add three. Done. Finish the program. Hit program. Automatic blackout. Very important, okay? Automatic blackout. Let's take the blackout. Let's press number one. Let's press number two. Let's press number three. You see that? And sure, we can go ahead and press these all around and these are pre-programmed. We can, same basics, we can control independent light. What I did here, I just pair the lights, pair both lights inside. We can do independence and you can do the program that way. All right, so now I understand banks. So total of 23 banks we have right here. Now in each bank, we can save up to eight scenes. Now 16, eight scenes. So here we look, and one, one. So it's bank one, effect one, or scene one. So one, two, we're still in bank one, right? Effect two, or scene three. Now, in this case, we did that, so it's still bank one, and three, and so on, I can uh, keep going that way, and so I can go up to 23 banks, okay? Right there, 23 banks. All right, this one, and again, now this is another bank, it just move out. That's something else I saved it there. So what I need to go, I need to go back into the original one, there was one, to be able to control the lights again. So let's go all the way down. All right, so what I did is that, went back to bank one, all right? And that's the first scene, second scene and third scene. Remember, we have a total of 23 banks and we can save eight. 
and this section we're gonna program J. Very important, you need to pay attention to this out now. So we're gonna go program. All right, so that the program is blinking. You already did some scenes, all right? Remember my first three. All right, so I'm gonna hit chase one. So it's one, and remember we have a total of six and 240 different chase we can set up. We're gonna do three today. All right, so now we're gonna hit mid edit or add blinks. We're gonna have one. Remember I already did one. Then I'm gonna click add. Two, click add, and then three, and finally, and we can so on to 240. Now I'm gonna hit program once again, and it's black out. All right, so now you want to run the chase, and you just hit one, chase one, and auto, and nothing happened. Dog is dead, why is not working? So, it feel like the whole thing, let's take back out first. Very important, that's why you think it's there. But you hit here and you move it around and I hit chase, auto, delete. It's not doing anything, why? Because you need to select the time, very important. Because you just program, it says, okay, why? I'm still running manually and when I hit chase, it's nothing happened. So now with this, we can control the speed and this is a fade time. So if you have a red and blue light, you can make it Changes real fast, or we can fade in every day, in and out. So, depends on the fact. So, if you see right now, it seems not working. So, what you gotta do is just slide this up. So, I'm gonna slide this up, gonna hit chase. All right, and I need to go all the way up, and it will start moving. So, let's get chase in auto, and should start moving a second. You see right there, I have to bend around with the time. So, sometimes you need to, re you need to reset it, go all the way up and down. So let's give it more speed, all right? You see that? So now we got it, yeah? Exactly what we programmed. Let's switch the screen, and we can see now the program is running. You see three banks right there, all right? And you see exactly. So with this, you can control, you can control here the timing. And this, how you want it, see, it slows down a little bit, because control the fade time as well too. So it depends on the light, the light you want to do effects. Now very important, when you want to go over to this, because you did a chase, you save it up and nothing happened and just go crazy. It happened to me, why? And I just go and reprogram again and go back and reprogram again. Chase will not execute it until you move this up. Now, if I turn the system off and I turn it back on, it will automatically go back on the same. It will go back into that mode and you say, hold on, I want to program scenes and this thing is still, let me turn it off. And I just turn it on and automatically should go back to the chase. So it goes back and still doing what I just did before, my chase program. And you says, hold on, I want to manually control. Well, you need to bring your speed to zero. So if I bring these two things down to zero, now I can control my chase the way I want it. One light, two lights, or whatever, I, I program the key. I, I double up the program. So that, as you see, it's pretty simple. The very important of this is to try to understand how the whole thing works. When you understand this, then, right, programming, you know, becomes uh, super simple. All right, guys, as you see, pretty simple. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of my super tutorial, how to program this. What I'm gonna do right, right in my uh, description of this video, I'm gonna leave you the control I'm using, the lights I'm using, and also the remote DMX as well too. I'm gonna bring a video of these particular lights and also how the DMX control or the remote of DMX works. So make sure you follow because I'm gonna come up with those videos real soon. And I'll see you next time. I'm Dario and this is MediaBox CNT. Bye.